It was an emotional day of remembrance in our city. Hundreds turned out this morning to honor the sacrifice of police officers who fell in the line of duty. It was a solemn and moving ceremony involving hundreds of officers, brass bands, police choruses, and police pipe bands from across Ontario, Canada, and North America all attended the 18th annual ceremony of remembrance for Ontario's fallen officers. The memory of those who have fallen with honor in each and every officer who continues to carry the torch, who does the right thing for the right reasons, who is caring and compassionate. 264 officers are on the wall of honor across from Queen's Park and in keeping with the belief that every fallen officer in the province will not be forgotten, today's ceremony honored four more officers from decades past, deaths that occurred as far back as 1912 to 1951. But in adding their names to this wall today, we proclaim that the passage of time does not diminish their service nor their sacrifice. Their names will be part of this memorial so that we will forever be reminded that the blue line of courage has shaped a stronger, fairer, and safer Ontario. Ontario's Lieutenant Governor pointed out how fortunate it is that no officers in Ontario died in the line of duty in 2016, but that doesn't mean many didn't suffer harm. Today, let us be mindful of the men and women in uniform who sustain injuries, both visible Some families of officers killed in the line of duty come every year, including the family of Constable Michael Sweet, killed 37 years ago in 1980. I come because it's a day to say thank you to all of the officers that come here today in support of my family and, and the families that have lost someone in the line of duty, and that's why it's important. I want to say thank you to them as well for what they do. In contrast to Ontario, where there were no officers killed in the line of duty, officials also paid tribute to officers from the United States who were killed, 144 since this time last year.